Control stop recording. Check. Meet that. Student details dash Excel row. Student details dash Excel. Sheet one tape. Normal ops. Meet dash advanced Excel class by tape as certain. Your microphone is on. Student details dash sheet one table. Align default work. Okay. Very good evening students. Welcome to the journey of advanced Excel. And let's start with today's topics which we are going to work on our uh, mobile phones uh, sales records let's use some home tab features and uh, learn some new things before that uh, just let me present my screen for all of you till the time just open that workbook and be on the uh, sheet normal student details dash excel unknown cursor normal cursor Present now. Akilish Cambly says in chat colon. Present present now. Unknown cursor. Normal cursor. Unknown. Meet dash at present. Your entire sc meet dash advanced Excel class by Tata serve document blank. Normal cursor. Entire screen grouping. Entire screen button one of one. Meet dot google dot com. Meet dash at press escape to exit full screen alert. Meet dash advanced Excel class by Tata serve. Meet at full screen dot. Press escape to exit full screen dot. Your presentation was added to the main screen dot. Normal cursor. Student. Ops. Went. Student. Details. Dash. Student. Details. Dash. Excel. Sheet 1. Table. Align. Default. Vertical. Align. Default. 418 kg as formula E9. Unknown cursor. Okay. So let's learn uh, the fill right concept. As we have learned fill down, which fills the uh, data downward uh, in the downward direction, which is there in upper active cell. Fill right will fill the data in right side, means rightward direction, which is there in left act, uh, leftmost active cell. Now for what purpose you can use this for filling the dates, for filling the uh, results of a particular formula or uh, for filling any uh, information in uh, left to right directions. Now just have uh, just uh, <coughs> come to blank sheet and we will uh, practice this function how uh, we can access this function and let's practice it. Okay, so this is my blank sheet. Let me e one make it blank for you. Cut, cut, remove, and student the tape unknown curve. Okay. So for example, I am starting with A1. Now I have typed particular name or I have typed particular number, whatever it would be. Just uh, type any name or number in A1. Or just see, you know the formula of column. Type that formula. Equals columns. C O L U M N. Just open the bracket and close. Open left parenthesis and close. And hit enter. So you will be getting column number as the result of formula. Column number. As row number returns the row number of particular cell, column number will return the column number of particular cell you know very well that every cell is a intersection of rows and columns so uh, every cell has its own row number as well as column number so for getting column number we use columns formula so let's type it here normal cursor search window student details dash excel sheet one table align default vertical align default a one it edit align left equals C O L U M N K K left parent right parent and just press the enter align default one as formula A1 so it has uh, returned that this is the first column <clears throat> as same as you want column numbers for others 
but you are not ready to type the formula in these columns. D1, C1, D1, E1. Now what to do? First option is to copy the formula and paste in these cells. That also can be done. But another option is there. For example, you want column numbers from A1 to J1. You want column numbers from A1 to J1. Now what you are going to do? You will select the range from A1 to J1. Either by using go to or just you can select manually. So let's use go to for selection. Go to dialog go to A1 A1 colon J1. J student details dash excel sheet one table a one one through J one selected row one column one unknown cursor. Now we have selected this range and for filling right you can press control plus R but the only condition is that your data should be there in leftmost cell of your selection. In this case I have selected the data from A1 to J1 and I have typed this formula in A1 and uh, I have the result of this particular formula. Now I will press Ctrl plus R that is a shortcut for field right. Otherwise you can press Alt H I and choose field right option. Like let me press Alt H I. J. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Let me press Alt H I. H. I insert cells dot 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 oh, insert no, no, cells no. dot alt h uh, insert split button collapse insert cells at cells huh. I have to suppose press uh, written tab tab control just, expand huh. alt one h table, f one, one through j one alt h f I suppose to press alt h f h and f written tab tab control expanded home tab selected alt comma h two of i i Put down an available fill down left parent C T R L plus D right parent Alt comma H comma F I comma D C right fill right left parent C T R L plus R right parent Alt comma H comma F I comma R C T R L plus R. See, Control plus R is the shortcut. Up fill up Alt comma H comma F I comma U. It also uh, can fill up, up down right. Left fill left Alt comma H comma F I comma L. It can fill the data in every direction. Control L will fill left. Control R for right. Up fill up all comma H comma F I comma U. So for filling up there is no direct shortcut. But for all these three directions we have direct shortcut. So let's fill right. Right fill right left parent. C T R L plus R right parent. Alt comma H comma F I comma R C T R L plus R. Yes. So let's fill right. Sheet one table, a one one through J one ten selected row one column one. Align default vertical align default. One at two at formula B one. So uh, so we have column numbers for these many columns. Three at formula C one. Four at formula D one. Five at formula E one. Six at formula F one. Seven at formula G one. Eight at formula H one. See like this we have. Uh, <coughs> these many column numbers together by uh, using fill right function. Sometimes you need to fill all the data in right direction or there are some formulas which you are supposed to fill right. Uh, so in uh, upcoming cases we will definitely use this function for uh, means in case of attendance or in case of results these uh, functions are highly useful in the Excel. So just remember, fill right can fill the data in right direct means <coughs> rightward direction for you. Okay. Okay, custom formatting we will see later. Just feel right.
okay just feel right let me see my presentation then we will go for next function normal curve me screen presenting has stopped just let me present again Muhammad Imran Rizvi says in chat colon sir agaya unknown cur align the front your entire meet dash advanced excel class by take a sir document blank normal cursor entire screen grouping and meet.google.com is sharing your screen dot Meet dash advanced Excel class by take. Press S to exit full screen alert. Meet dash advanced Excel class by take a sir. Clickable button unavailable me and else. Button remove Siva Chandran from the. Meet dot Google dot. Meet dash advanced Excel. Meet dot Google dot. Student details dash Excel row. Student details dash Excel sheet one tape. Okay. So now let's do another thing. Feel left or up. these functions are going to work as fill down and write works so we don't need to practice just remember the shortcuts or if you don't remember the shortcut you can uh, remember that these functions can be accessed from the fill uh, sub menu that's the important thing which you should remember okay now uh, the another important function uh, from home tab that uh, we are left with that is sort and filter function sort and filter these are two different functions sort function will help you to arrange your data by any particular order by any particular order for name it may be a to z z to a for dates is may it may be recent or uh, latest to oldest newest to oldest oldest to newest whatever it would be for number it may be largest to smallest so as per the data we can sort the things and filter is a different function filter will help you to read the data as per certain criteria filter will help you to read data as per certain criteria now for sort and filter let's open the sheet in which our mobile phone sales record is located so in my case it is there on sheet 2 so let's go to sheet 2 Eight as formula. Sheet two table of five three through H five fifty nine thousand selected row five column one. Quick analysis available. Okay, so here are these align details. Align center vertical align middle three four six. Now, for applying sort and sort function, let's learn sort first, and then we will learn filter later on. for applying sort function you must remember some things if there is a table there are multiple columns which you are going to sort now first of all let's see how this function works sort function how it works you need to select the data there are two choices you can select entire data or you can select one particular column but there is problem in table when you will select and sort one particular column it will affect the relation with other columns how it will affect the relation 
for example just imagine you have select selected the quantity column quantities column you have selected and only that column you have sorted from largest to smallest without keeping in mind that there are other columns in table and we should consider the relation with these columns now let me show you a demo now just listen carefully how it affects the relationships in table 21-03-20 Maharashtra Mumbai has formula 106 product ID okay first of all let's make this data constant let's remove all the formulas from this data as we have learnt yesterday so there would be no value refreshing let's select the data a one mobile phone sales record through h32 49000 copy cursor unknown cursor copy press application cut, cut, remove the selection copy cop paste options data grid paste up values not selected values left parent v right parent v2 of 6 just paste the values student details so no formula Excel, will be there a one mobile phone sales record Align center vertical align middle Samsung Galaxy 274 G6 QTY. So there is no formula at all. So no refreshment will be happening here. Now let me select only one column. Let me select only one column and sort it. I will show you how it affects the relationship. Now just see this. QTY G2 269 G31. 269 are the quantities of Samsung Galaxy S23 F3 product name. Right. 200. 269 G3 QTY. Okay. Now let me select this whole column. G3 269 through G32 246 selected row 3 through 32 column 7. Quick analysis available. And now let me go to sort option. You can access sort option by pressing application key also and there are another ways for sorting. But let's use this. I just want to wanted to show you how it will affect the relation. So let me just use this option. Cut, cut, remove the select, copy, copy, put, paste options, data grid, paste special dot, 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 split button collapsed. Smart lookup, smart lookup, search for, insert dot dot dot, delete dot dot, clear content, quick analysis, filter collapse D, sort collapse O. Expand, sort smallest to largest, sort smallest to largest, lowest to highest dot S. Okay, now I will sort this column from smallest to largest. And now let's see what happens. Sort warning dialog Microsoft Excel found data next to your selection dot. Since you have not selected this data comma, it will not be sorted dot. What do you want to do? Question. Expand the selection radio button check alt plus E. Expand the selection radio button check alt plus E. It is asking that the data next to your column is not selected by you. So do you want to expand the selection? If you want to select all the data, you can click on yes. But I don't want now this for this time i don't want to uh, uh, select this particular table i just wanted to show you the relation so i will continue with the current selection radio button check alt plus c yes, and i will hit enter Student i have sorted excel sheet two table g3 269 through align center for 269 g31 202 g42 okay 212 g53 215 G64. Now see what has happened. 218 G75. It has sorted the data. And let's see if there is a change in order of state and cities. Samsung Galaxy 105 E7, 101 E8, 102 E9, 103 E108, 104 E119. See, there is no change. But ideally, this change should uh, should be there because the quantities for any particular city are different and not in uh, means we have uh, sorted this data in continuous order only. 
So Dancing. just see 246 this. G left. 247 G1210. 251 G1311. Like this it we have organized. But these other uh, columns should have been changed. But aisa nahi hua hai. Because we have selected only one column. But ideally we should select entire table and then apply sort function. Because the records associated with that particular cell are changed. Suppose there was highest quantity from Mumbai. Now highest quantity you will see from uh, Gujarat Gandhinagar. Lowest quantity was there from uh, Ahmedabad. Now here lowest quantity you will say, uh, see here in Mumbai. Because we haven't ex uh, the expanded our selection. So always keep in mind when you will uh, you apply sort on single column you don't need to expand your selection but if you are applying sort function in particular table always select all columns now i will tell you a simple trick for sorting data just select your column headers first task just select your column headers 240 qtyg2sr.sr.no.2 like this you just select your headers a 2sr dot no dot through h2 price selected row 2 column 1 quick analysis available and just hit control shift l it will enable sort and filter function to your columns all columns it will enable sort and filter functions to your columns so just sort uh, just hit control shift l a known cursor so it is not going to say anything that you have started sort and filter uh, blah 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 right now how to sort the data now we, we have selected all ta all columns and now it will uh, keep in mind the relation with another t uh, column or row while sorting the data now just see now let's sort the quantity column D2. from smallest D2. to largest city d2 product id Product name F QTYG2 price eight QTYG2. For example, we uh, our sort criteria uh, criteria for sorting is quantities largest to smallest or smallest to largest, whatever it would be. Just press Alt plus down arrow for uh, drop down. Just press Alt plus down arrow and you will see this drop down. Sort and Normal filter. Normal unknown. Sort smallest to largest. Not checked as. First option is there. Sort smallest to largest. Sort largest to smallest not checked O. Largest to smallest is there. Sort by color collapse T. Color. Sheet view unavailable collapse sheet C. Sheet view. Clear filter from quote QTY quote unavailable not checked C. Okay. Now just we will sort this. Sheet view up. Sort by color collapse. Sort largest to small. Sort smallest to largest not checked at. Sort largest to smallest not checked O. Okay. Let's sort largest to smallest. And now we will see. Now this data is rearranged now this data is rearranged and just see this sheet to table 298 g4 290 298 g4 now this has sorted 300 g330 qty g2 sr dot no dot qty g2 298 G429 300 G330 See the 30th entry is there in first row 30th entry is there in first row Now you can see that there are uh, Samsung Galaxy S20 F3 product name This is the product name 105 E3 product ID. Product ID is this. Gandhinagar crop D3 city. In Gandhinagar, we are selling this product at max. Gujarat C3 state. Gujarat is the state. 21-03-2023 B3 date. This is the date. 30 3SR dot no dot. And 30 is the serial number. Now, how is this possible that 30 serial number is on first row so what is the solution 
for having dynamic serial numbers kuch log kahenge ki sir you should not have uh, had selected this uh, serial number column still i want to select serial number columns but fir bhi i want these serial numbers to be constant what is the option i have already told you so you can put in the comment section yeah now uh, uh, it's clear city and states they are going to mix because we are sorting this information as per the criteria of our quantities yes row plus or row minus uh, ha row plus, row minus 1 so by using row minus 1 formula you will be ha uh, having this dynamic serial numbers now jaise hi you will sort this information so your it is possible that your order of cities and states may change of absolutely it is going to change because the highest selling city is going to be in top most row and lowest selling city uh, or state will be there in a uh, lower row now just do one thing now we will sort this data as per the product ids now let's see the magic let's sort this data as per the product ids so you will be get to know that sr dot no dot a2 date d state c city d2 just sort this data as per the product ids product id e2 wait cursor sort smallest to largest not checked as use this order sort smallest to largest and now let's see what happens to your table sheet to table now this is the order this is the new order a known cursor product id e2 101 e421 all 101 101 51 101 616 101 711 so here we are sorting product wise all 101 first in all the cities all the states 102 in all the cities all the states 103 in all the cities all the states like this way we are going on for example your boss tells you that uh, uh, boss just organize this uh, as per the products means i want to see uh, first uh, 101 at the top in all the cities and 105 in the lower row in all the cities so at that time you are going to sort by product ids means it it's up to you what do you want to uh, look in the sheet and accordingly you are going to use sort function now there is multi level sorting also that we will see in custom sort custom sort function we will see later before that we will understand some more concepts multi level sorting is there and we will learn that sorting for example you are you are sorted the so state and then uh, you want that uh, all the cities from that state in particular order and uh, the highest selling or lowest selling whatever it would be so that is called as multi level sorting that we are going to see later first of all just uh, continue with normal sorting function so you can sort the dates also any any data you can sort any data date time numbers any data you can sort like the uh, states or cities we can sort by alphabetical orders alphabetical orders 
let's try to sort the state but uh, what will be uh, what will happen you will see product id is r dot let's dot sort city the states d2. state c2 in ascending orders state state c2 in this order normal curve sort a to z not checked as hmm. let's sort in this order Student details dash Excel. And now just see, still your city's order C2 is going table, to align center, vertical, align change. Middle, state C2, unknown cursor. Your city order is going to change. Now let's see what happens with cities or product IDs. Let let me see. Vertical align. What happens? Mobile phone. Vertical align middle. SR dot no dot at state D state C city D Gandhinagar crop D three twenty six. See Gujarat and Gandhinagar is the first. Gandhinagar crop D3. So Gujarat, Gandhinagar. Ahmedabad crop D516. Gandhinagar crop D627. See, Ahmedabad. Gujarat C6 state. But Gujarat you can find. From uh, 3rd to 15th or 6th, 17th, 18th, whatever the row is. Uh, is that? So till that row you will find Gujarat. But cities are not in the order. For that, you will have to apply multi-level sorting function that we are going to study later. That your state should be ascend, uh, alphabetical in alphabetical order. Cities also should be there in alphabetical order. For that, you must learn multi-level sorting function. Okay, now I hope that all of you uh, have understood this concept of simple sort. We are not going to learn multi-level sorting today. We will learn uh, in next lecture because today our agenda is to cover sort and filter only. Simple sort and filter. So just message me in comment section. if you are clear with sorting. Okay, first step is to select all column headers, means header row you are going to select and just uh, go to any column uh, on which you are going to apply sort function. Just hit control or uh, alt plus down arrow and you will uh, be able to see any uh, particular drop down on your screen and in that do drop down your uh, sort and filter options are there. I think it is clear to you, Survi. Huh, after column headers, you should press uh, Control Shift equals for enabling sort and filter. For enabling filters, basically, it is the shortcut Control Shift L. Okay, so, so purpose of sorting is to organize your data, arrange your data as per specific order. And purpose of filter, 
is to filter out the details. For example, I want to see the details of Maharashtra only. I want to see the details of Mumbai only. I want to see the details of the product 105 only. As per any criteria, suppose I want to see the details of uh, the product sold on 15th March only. This can be done by using filters. For enabling filters, uh, the simple steps, just select your column headers, means uh, uh, column headers, yes, and just hit uh, control shift equals. And you will be able to enable sort and filter uh, function on your columns. So every time you don't need to select the data and uh, go to sort and filter and apply all the th things. This will enable uh, the sort and filter functions. Okay. Now let's see how to use the filters. In filters also there are some levels. But the levels we are going to use manually not automatically. For example, just uh, go to state column. Just go to state column and we want to see the results of Maharashtra only. Only Maharashtra. The entry is related to Maharashtra state. Those we want on our screen. State C2SR dot no dot. So just hit Alt down arrow. Normal curse unknown. And just keep pressing down arrow until you reach. Here. Sort A to Z, sort Z to A, sort by color, sheet view and a clear filter from filter by color, collect text filters, co type field name to search for edit alt plus E line left blank. You can type field name also, but we have only two, three fields. Left parent, select all right parent, checkbox unavailable, select it, check. Okay, so uh, all the states are selected because uh, we can see all the states in our uh, sheet. So for example, we want to have Maharashtra on the screen. Gujarat checkbox unavailable, selected, checked. So let's uncheck Gujarat because we are able to see Gujarat because it is checked. So let's uncheck Gujarat. Space, not checked. Maharashtra checkbox unavailable, selected, checked. Let it be checked and OK button. Press OK. Student details dash Excel, sheet 2 table, align center, vertical, align middle, state C2, unknown cursor. Now see. Only Maharashtra related entries will be there on your screen. Like, just I will uh, go through this table. Maharashtra crop C181. Maharashtra crop C1911. Maharashtra crop C26. So, what filter does? It will hide all the Gujarat cells. It will not delete Gujarat cells, but it is going to hide all Gujarat cells because he wanted to see only Maharashtra. Right? Only Maharashtra you wanted to see. Now next step, step, for example, you want only Mumbai or you want only 101. You want only 101 in Maharashtra. So, for example, in uh, just imagine any case, either you want only Mumbai, means uh, the details of Mumbai you want on your screen or details of 101. So let's go for Mumbai first. Let's go for Mumbai. Maharashtra so C1911. State C2 as a city D2. And let's wait cursor. Sheet 2 take go clear to filter, filter, text filter, type field. Manual filter tree view unavailable. Left parent. Select all right parent. Checkbox unavailable. Mumbai checkbox unavailable. Selected checked. Let it be checked. Nagpur checkbox unavailable. Selected checked. Uncheck this. Space not checked. So now checkbox unavailable. Space not uncheck checked. Uncheck this. And hit OK, okay button. Sheet 2 table. Align center vertical. Align middle. City D2. Unknown cursor. And now here, all the details only, only related to Mumbai you can see here. See just. Mumbai D18 1. Mumbai D23 2. Mumbai D26 3. Other cells are hidden. Mumbai D29 4. Now you can copy the data and paste in uh, some another sheet if you want to have uh, data of Mumbai only in another sheet. You can copy this data and paste. 
so you will find only mumbai related data right now what you will do 104 product id now for example here your boss tells you that boss you have done a fabulous job you have uh, got me the entry uh, entries of maharashtra and then mumbai as per my request now just do one thing now sort highest to largest uh, sorry uh, largest to smallest because i wanted to know that which is the highest selling product in mumbai so what you will do here sort and filter dialog box uh, sort and filter function is already enabled just sort by quantities 103 26 100 100 product id e2 product name f qtyg2 just sort it wait cursor sheet 2 table sort largest to smallest not checked oh <clears throat> and here is your highest selling phone in mumbai student details dash excel sheet 2 table align set 269 g18 qty 200 218 g20 269 g18 1 Samsung Galaxy S23 F18 product name. So this is your highest selling phone, S23 in Mumbai. Or the you, suddenly your boss tells you that uh, just uh, bring the cheapest phone on the top. Cheapest phone in Mumbai on the top. What you are going to do? Just let me know. Cheapest phone on the Mum uh, in Mumbai on the top. Uh, cheapest phone on the top how you are going to do this How you are going to bring cheapest phone on the top, smallest to largest sorting, but on which column? Price column. Right. So just do this thing. Bring the cheapest phone on top. Bring the cheapest phone on top by sorting. And just let me know the price of cheapest phone in the comment section. No, no, basically, see, we have uh, uh, filtered the state that is Maharashtra. Then we have filtered the city from Maharashtra, that is Mumbai. Now we are uh, trying to sort the price column in uh, smallest to largest. Now the only thing that is mixed, uh, the order of your the, this product name and IDs, this should be changed. Because we are having same state, uh, single state in the uh, uh, this particular sheet right now. Okay, uh, so let me. Okay, forty nine thousand. Good. 
Samsung Galaxy S20 that is the cheapest phone great Okay, Priya, just let me go through your problem. Okay, so your uh, this uh, direction is changed. Your screen got rotated. Uh, just try to apply one shortcut windows plus zero numpad wala zero you are going to press probably it should rotate your screen to zero degrees Till the time other students will let me know, is there any shortcut to clear all the filters at a time? Means I want to clear all the filters from this sheet. Is there any shortcut? Just post it in comments till the time I will see this. Okay. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, sort and filter. We will stop here for today. Just let me pause the recording. Ops 29.0.2 left parent 64 Chrome Legacy